You smell that? There's like a, there's like a musk on this album, like it's like it's covered in honey and sex. Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Relevant Jukebox, and today we're gonna talk about this new Weekend album, After Hours. So this is the latest full-length album from singer, songwriter, producer Abel Ferreira, aka The Weekend, who is back following up his last record, Starboy. I was pretty curious to hear this album after its lead single, Heartless. Lyrically, the song overall is kind of an eye roll as I was expecting from the weekend, but uh, the tune uh, at the core of it was actually really good. And I also dug the more synth heavy direction he was going for in the instrumental. And there are some really interesting production credits on here. You have Metro Boomin, Max Martin, and Frank Dukes. And what's most interesting, One Trix Point Never, who crossed paths with the weekend while they were filming Uncut Gems. And I'm actually really glad to see that Daniel landed on this record. And Abel also cited Uncut Gems as a pretty major inspiration inspiration for the whole sound of this album, and I think you can certainly hear that influence. The lyrics on the track Snow Child actually depict the vibe of this album really well. A depressed, self-made superstar who just went through a breakup and now he's back out having sex again all the time, but he wants to find a woman that'll put him in his place, but we're not really quite sure if he actually wants that, with a futuristic tint on it. Now, it's no secret that you have to be in a certain mood to get into like a weekend project. His music overall pretty toxic thematically and I feel like at this point he's kind of beaten a dead horse with the subject matter that he talks about and his singing style at times can come off very dramatic as he hangs on some of his words so much it's almost like he's trying to finger you through his own track so personally there's only so much I can take of that because this record and kind of the weekend overall is designed for two people in mind the weekend and two any women out there that are willing to sleep with the weekend I will say though that this new record over here is probably probably the most well-groomed project he's released to date, and it wastes no time right out of the gate with a really epic opening with the track Alone Again. There are synthesizers galore to hear on this track, and they give off this twinkle to them too, kind of like what you heard on the score of Uncut Gems. He builds the anticipation on this cut for a solid two and a half minutes, which can be patience testing, but the payoff is actually kind of worth it with that two minute and 39 second change up that happens. This track kind of sets the bar unrealistically high though. He dabbles a lot in what sounds like 80s synth pop on some of these cuts too, and at times he hits, like on the single Blinding Lights or even the track Save Your Tears. Other times they kind of pale in comparison to the other, like In Your Eyes. They are a really good palate cleanser to break up the more moody, atmospheric cuts on this record that I just really can't get into, like Hardest to Love, Scared to Live, or even Escape from LA. And even though I'm not into every track on here, I will say though it is pretty clear that Abel has fully come into his own as a singer. The melodies that he wrote on this record sound a lot more defined in his own comparative to what was coming off of Starboy, and the instrumentals do a really nice job enhancing that. Towards the end of the record, there's an interesting interlude that features One of Tricks Point Never and Kevin Parker of Tame and Paula fame, but Kevin pretty much just like pops in and like says hello on the track and then leaves, which kind of feels like a missed opportunity overall. Abel does make up for that though, leading this cut into the title track After Hours, which is a really nice like lengthy moody dance track and one of the better ones on the record. Now overall, I do think this is a pretty good album. I'm not quite sure if this is gonna be for all weekend fans though, because this record actually sidesteps and distances himself from the sound he had going on his last couple projects, which seemed to make him even more popular than he already was. I'm actually digging the new direction he's going for on here though. I do think instrumentally it sounds more like a progression off of what he was doing on his early mixtapes. Also, his performances are better on this record compared to some of his last ones. And overall, this project is a lot more focused and it does finally feel like this moody, atmospheric R&B sound is his. Even though thematically and lyrically, it's still really not for me. With that being said though, I'm feeling a seven over here on After Hours. So if you're looking to pick this up on on a vinyl, there's a few choices to pick from on Weekend's website. There is a limited holographic vinyl that looks like it's still up for sale. Also, he has two variants of what he's calling the collector's edition. One that's got like a clear and red splatter. And then there's another one that's like a red with black splatter that look pretty cool. So links are gonna be down below to his web store if you wanna grab any of that stuff. And if you listen to this new Weekend album, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like down below. And if you want Want more content from me? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Peace.